In this video I'm going to demonstrate what is an acoustic point source. And I have this Bose little Bluetooth speaker and uh, we're first going to take a listen now to a sinusoidal way. Around, let's see how low we can go with this. 85 Hertz. Now, this one will behave as a point source at 85 Hertz. And if I, if that, that, well, that means that it's gonna emit sound in all directions, which means that when I point this one at the microphone and rotate it, you will not hear much of a difference because it's emitting sound in all directions at once. So it should be the same. Now, let's crank up the frequency from 85 to around like 9000, around here. Now, it sounds pretty horrible this, but now when I point it at the microphone, it's not a point source anymore. Now it will behave more like a direct, like, like if I'm pointing a flashlight or a laser pointer in your eyes and I put point it in another direction. This is the same thing if you do that. Okay, I'm not going to torture you anymore. I hope you hear, he heard a difference now, because when you're pointing this one right into the microphone, it's going to pick up more sound than when it's pointing to another direction, because with a high frequency, it's not a point source anymore. So low frequency, all directions at once. I can rotate this one. There won't be a difference. High frequency, it's not a point source anymore. So if it's a point source or not, it actually depends on what kind of sound it is emitting. Certain sound sources, they emit one specific sound and then of course you can classify them but uh, in the case of this loudspeaker it's not that obvious because it could, can be both so what's going on here well in the first case I had 85 Hertz sine wave and in the second case I had around 9000 Hertz 9 kilohertz and if you want to find out then these frequencies, what kind of wavelength do they correspond to? And then the, the, the way to find that out is that you take the frequency is defined as speed of sound divided by wavelength. But we want to find the wavelength, so it's going to be, oops, it's going to be lambda equals C over F. So lambda 85 will be equal to C, speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second. Oh, sorry. 343 divided by F, which is 85. And lambda 9000 will be 343. Why is it so hard to write 343? <laughs> divided by 9000. Which wavelengths? Do these correspond to let's find out so in the first case we get 343 three divided by 85 which is around 4 meters and in the second case 343 three divided by 9000 is around 0 0.038 meters so you can see there's quite a bit of a difference here in wavelength. And a rule of thumb is that when the size of the sound source is smaller than one-tenth of a wavelength, then it behaves like a point source. So in this case, four meter wavelength in rela relation to this little guy, four meter is huge in compar comparison to this one. Definitely more than one tenth. Uh, I mean, oh, I mean that less. I'm getting a bit tired here. Sorry. This one is definitely less than four meters divided by ten. So, in that case, it will be a point source. And in the second case, nine thousand hertz, high frequency, short wavelength. Now, zero point zero three eight meters, which is what is that? <laughs> sorry, I'm so tired. My brain is about to shut down centimeters 3.8 centimeters actually is 
we can say it's four centimeters instead of four meters. Now, four centimeters in relation to this guy. Then this is huge. It's a large sound source that emits a small short wavelength. And then it's not a point source anymore because that condition is not fulfilled. So basically, if the sound source is small, very small in relation to the wavelength it is emitting, it will behave as a point source. The perfect example would be the subwoofer in your home cinema because it's a pretty small, even though it's a pretty large speaker, it's still small compared to the wavelengths that it's emitting. We're talking like four, five, six, seven, eight meter wavelength in relation to that subwoofer. So it's going to be a perfect point source. It won't matter which way you you point it. Not that much, at least. And then in the second case, then, when the sound source is large in relation to the wavelength that it is emitting, it will behave as a not as a point source. It will be more directional. And that, that's like the tweeter in your loudspeakers. There will be a big difference if you point the tweeters at your ears or if they are pointing in another direction. It will affect the high frequency content by quite a lot. And this is easy to test. If you, if you have your stereo, point your speakers at your ears and then you move to another place in the room and you will hear a difference in the, in the high frequency, in the crisp part of the sound spectrum. Yeah, that's a crash course in point sources and directivity of sound. And in today's video, I'm wearing a window pane, gray jacket, gray shirt, and then I chose this rust red pocket square with some purple-ish colors to it, which I think picks up the gray and balances out in a nice way. It's not too vibrant, it's not screaming, but it's good balance. And then black pants. Turns out pretty good. <laughs> Good night. See you later.